The panel of discussants, Barrister Friday Ogeraihi and Barrister Uye Jale, were divided against the backdrop of the Supreme Court judgment on the River State's governorship election. Barrister Ogeraihi said if the legislators are given the opportunity to seek redress in the Supreme Court, it will afford them the opportunity to correct some flaws the Supreme Court corrected in the River State's case. However, Barrister Ajali thought otherwise, pointing that the Supreme Court should not be overburdened to enable it to concentrate on other cases before it. Uh, which case uh, the Dakupu uh, case is concerned, is to tell us that where we have a three uh, radical arrangement of uh, court from one level to the other to which, for, to which you can make uh, file an appeal or make a fee, so to speak, it is not right under our law to say that a particular set of people can only go as far as to a, 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 a level and cannot go further than that. The Supreme Court are not even dealing with cases that were filed in 2006. I think they, have been, they, have, they just started with that of the 2005. Mm. I'm talking of ordinary matters. Yes. So which means that a, some, a lot of cases filed who, who filed their cases more than 11 years ago, yes. their matters are not even being heard today. Not that the justices of the Supreme Court, they don't want to hear them. Mm. But because of the volume of cases okay. already before them. Also on the program, the special advisor to Governor Adam Sushomole on media and public affairs, Kazim Afegboa, did an appraisal on the impact of governors in Edo State as it reflects to the current administration. Sushomole, the governor, the miracle worker, in, in view of what he's been able to achieve, when much side as with what comes in as income. Politics Today is an audience participation program at same time on ITV radio every Saturday from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. A full Wangwe reporting.